Hello, and welcome to episode 23 of Sir Astro's Star Wars Legion painting series. In this episode, we're going to paint Lando Calrissian from Atomic Mass Games' Star Wars Legion. Lando has been given a dynamic and characterful sculpt that nicely captures his roguish charm, and, as I typically like to do, I'll be spending a bit more time than usual bringing these individual hero figures to life. During assembly of the miniature, you'll be able to select from a choice of different cloaks and arm positions, as well as two different facial expressions. Assembly itself is very straightforward, and as usual I've chosen to prime the figure in black, followed with some grey and white zenithal highlights applied from above. I'll then be applying the base colours to essentially serve as my shadow tones, over which I'll be building up the midtones and highlights to create depth and volume whilst also rendering the different textures on the outfit. I'll be spending most of my time here on the skin tone and the glorious cape. Let's begin with the base colours. I'm going to start by painting the trousers using Scale Colours Graphite mixed with just a little sky blue. I like to thin the paints with water mixed with a little flow enhancer, which I find makes the paint a little easier to manage. I'm aiming for an opaque finish so I won't be over thinning the paint. A couple of layers of this will give us a nice flat finish. Moving on to the cloak, I'm using rainy grey mixed with just a little violet. For the more shadowed underside of the cloak, I'm adding a little flat black along with some additional violet. Using thinner layers that allow the zenithal highlights to show through is also an option here. I just prefer to take full control over the saturation of the tones when working on heroes like this. For the pale coloured shirt, I'm using a roughly equal mix of Thar Brown and Iroko, darkened and desaturated with a little flat black. I'm also using this for the military stripes on the trousers, as well as the cord that fastens the cape. For the tunic, I'm using Iroko darkened with a little violet and some flat black. Once dry, we want this to be slightly darker than the sleeves. For the dark brown boots and wrist piece, I'm using a roughly equal mix of Vallejo's German camo dark brown and black. I'm also using this for the holster strap, as well as the hair. For the holster itself, I'm darkening some flat brown with some black. Notice that I like to use paints that have a more satin finish for more glossy textures such as leather and skin.
For the black belt, pouches and the blaster, I'm using a roughly equal mix of black and dark sea blue. I'm now lightening this with the addition of some white and using this for the small metallic details on the outfit. Next I'm going to paint the eyes using deck tan. This is certainly one of those details that is pretty optional, as the eyes won't really be visible during gameplay. And I'm now dotting in some pupils using pure black. We can then paint the skin and I'm using pure German camo black brown for this. And finally, I've chosen to add some basing paste to the ground so that by the time I've completed the highlights it'll be dry and ready for the grass. We're now ready to add the highlights. I'm going to start with the skin where I'll first be adding a broad mid-tone by adding some saddle brown to the German camo dark brown base tone. This can cover all but the deepest shadows. I'm adding increasing quantities of the saddle brown in a couple of stages, but won't be going up to pure saddle brown. I'm now mixing in some orange brown to give me a more golden hue in the mid-tones. For the brighter highlights, I'm adding increasing amounts of ice yellow. And for the chin area, I've chosen to create a slightly cooler tone by mixing in a little of the sky blue. For the lips, I'm now mixing some of the saddle brown with some ice yellow and a little flat red.
and now with some additional ice yellow to place a small highlight. I'm now returning to the skin and you can see I've chosen to focus the highlights a little more strongly on the left side of Lando's face to add interest. Next I'm adding the moustache with the black and German camo dark brown mix. Even with darker skin tones we shouldn't be afraid to push the smallest highlights quite far. I'm now using some deck tan to pick out the teeth, followed with a few repairs to the surrounding area. And finally I'm drawing in some eyebrows. I'm now adding ice yellow and maybe some orange leather to the black and German camo dark brown mix to provide a few highlights to the hair. Next I'm going to highlight the cape by adding arctic blue mixed with a little violet to the rainy grey and violet base tone. Notice that the paint appears somewhat lighter when wet. Here I'm just using a hairdryer to speed up the drying so I can check that I'm happy with the change in tone before carrying on round the rest of the cape. For large smooth areas like this I'll naturally take my time by building up the brightness in several stages. I'll still occasionally return to a darker tone to extend out some of the highlights. This is now the pure arctic blue and violet mix. Here 
Here I'm just using an intermediate tone to blur out a rather obvious transition. Notice that I often like to vary the hue as well as just the values when building up the highlights for prominent areas like this. For the smallest, brightest highlights I'm now adding a little white sands. And for one last optional touch I'm mixing in a hint of green, in this case using Arati Green. The green tone itself should barely register, but just gives a gentle boost to the luminosity in the brightest highlights. Here I'm just stippling the paint on quite thinly. Before highlighting the shirt and the tunic, I've chosen to thin some Agrax Earthshade down with Lamian Medium, and use this to bring a little depth and definition to the recessed areas and creases in the fabric. I'm now going to highlight the tunic by progressing from the Iraco and Violet base tone up to pure Iraco. Likewise, I'm now highlighting the shirt with an equal mix of Iraco and Thar Brown. I'd like the shirt to be lighter still, so I'm now highlighting up to a mix of Thar Brown and Tanera Yellow. We can also highlight the military stripes as well as the cord on the cape as we go.
For the trousers, I'm going to initially add some arctic blue to the graphite and sky blue base tone in a couple of stages. And I've now chosen to also include a little sky blue in the highlights. For the dark brown leather, I'm going to add some flat brown followed with some ice yellow for the brighter highlights. You can see I'm being a little more sketchy here compared to how I highlighted the cloak, and we can also get away with making some pretty big jumps in value to create the shiny leather look. I'm now thinning down a mix of chestnut and violet inks and using this to add some depth and a glossy finish to the leather. You could then add some additional highlights and layers of ink if you like. For the belt and pouches, I'm simply adding some white and maybe some ivory to the black and dark sea blue base tone. These greys can also be used to highlight the blaster. For the metallic details, I've also chosen to mix in a little sky blue. For the grip on the blaster, I'm using Deck Tan. Here on the wrist unit, I'm using some flat red and some Tenera yellow to paint the small strips either side of the central panel.
With that done, I'm now adding a little black lining to help separate some of the different elements of the outfit. And I'm now finishing off the base, firstly with a green shade. And now a thinned layer of PVA glue, over which I'm sprinkling some black and brown battleground by Army Painter and some fine turf by Jarvis. And here I'm gluing down a few tufts of grass by Gamers Grass. Finally, I've chosen to lighten the cord on the cape with some birch, before providing a final boost to a couple of the highlights elsewhere on the model. And this completes Lando Calrissian. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. As always you'll find a full product list in the video description below, along with links to all of the places I can be found on social media. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Legion. Happy painting!